Hello, Namaskar. Welcome to Doctor Electronics channel. In this video, I am going to replace the thermal pads on my RTX 3080 Ti. As you can see, the temperatures are really high on the memory. No matter what OC setting I use, however power limited I make the graphic card to run at, the memory temperatures on the graphic cards always remain above 100 degrees Celsius, which is bad for the longevity of the graphic card and mining as well as it tends to thermal throttle all the time. So I went online to look for replacement thermal pads. There were many options online, but that is when it became more confusing. See, there is a conductivity level for every thermal pad and prices go up with the level of conductivity starting from 5 watt per meter kelvin going up to 20 watt per meter kelvin. And how can I make sure that the thermal pads available online are actually of the conductivity they claim? Because the higher the conductivity, the higher the price. And I was skeptical about the quality of material for the money I'll spend. And there was a question of the size and thickness of thermal pads. How much would I need to use, of which thickness to use, where and how much? Then after doing my research, I found that Pi Plus, a Pune-based company, is offering pre-cut thermal pads for all RTX 3000 series graphic cards. And you have to WhatsApp them to get the purchase link for the particular graphic card model that you have. So I did that and bought the pre-cut thermal pads, which were neatly packed, labeled and with some useful goodies like thermal paste and spreader, some alcohol wipes, cotton buds, a plastic guitar plucker to be used as a scraper and some surgical gloves. Most importantly, a diagram for reference as where to place the thermal pads. This video is not at all sponsored by them, but I have to say I am impressed by the thoughtfulness of the team at Pi Plus and yes, I would recommend them to anyone who is doing this for the first time as well as veterans of the thermal pad replacement league. So I begin by opening up the back plate and yes you need a complete kit of screwdriver heads to do this. You go ahead and watch the disassembly process, the thermal pad replacement and the reassembly of the graphic card. Thermal pads replacement is complete and the results are in front of you. Straight 20 degrees off of the memory temps and yes, there is a slight increase in the core temperatures as well. As the heat from the memory chips is spreading well across the heat sink which happens to be the same for the core as well. I am happy with the results and yes, my doubts about the quality of the thermal pads are cleared by watching these temperatures drop. I hope you like this video. Subscribe for more. I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.